Brooks & Davis Real Estate Firm, LLC, offers more value than any other good full-service real estate brokerage firm when it comes to the sale of your home. We offer at least 27 things that contribute to your home selling in the least amount of time at the highest price. To receive our free home selling pamphlet, email us at info at or call 713-665-8329. Hello, this is Kimberly Allen. We also assist people who want to purchase homes or who are interested in getting their real estate license. Visit us at www.brooksanddavis.com. Welcome to the Prime Real Estate Network podcast. I'm your host, Rick Davis. You can follow me on social media at Prime Real Estate Rick. If you don't follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I urge you to take the advantage of the opportunity to do so. Today is a very special program here on the Prime Real Estate Network because we have a very special co-host. You have seen her as a guest on the Prime Real Estate Network, but for the first time on this podcast, she's sitting in the host seat. So I'd like to introduce to the Prime Real Estate Network audience of Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, the lovely Chica Moma. All right. Hello, Prime Real Estate Network family. I'm happy to be back and to be here next to Rick and be able to co-host and hopefully, you know, now talk about our guest for today. Hey, you know, it's, it's super funny because um, when I found out that Larry wouldn't be able to host with me this mm -hmm. week, we had a long list of potential co-hosts. Oh. And all I did was scratch out names like, no, absolutely not. Mm. Never. And when <laughs> it came down, me and Larry were going back and forth with like, who can actually sit in Larry's seat and do, if not the same, but a better job than Larry himself. And mm. there was no one else who I could think of except for Miss Chica. So All thank right. you so much for sitting in with thank us Thank you so much. And this is a big seat to fill. I'm almost falling in. So Larry, <laughs> I thank you for uh, letting me, you know, sit and keep your seat warm. Okay, so we are here. <laughs> in today's episode, and I want to urge all, um, everyone on the Prime Real Estate Network audience, if you know any new real estate agents, recently licensed or aspiring real estate agents, Tag them, text them, and let them know about today's episode because in today's episode, we're going to talk extensively about the Texas Realtor Leadership Program. And if you haven't heard of this program, this episode will give you the information you need to learn more about it. And you will also have the opportunity to meet two of its most outstanding members. And without any further ado, I would like to introduce today's guest. Our first guest is the leader of the Rockwell team over at CBNA Realtors. And his name is Mr. Quentin Rockwell. How are you doing today, sir? I'm pretty good. Thank you for having me. Oh, and, sure. and I think I'm the most extravagant. I mean, I'm the best one out of the best class. That's me. Mm. Oh, mm. wow. That's outstanding. And we'll get into a little bit more about that class because um, I've heard so she's okay, much. But <laughs> she's okay? Yeah, she's right. well, well, let's introduce her as well. Yeah. And I'd also like to introduce Miss <laughs> Samantha Plomer. She's a realtor associate with Heritage Texas Properties, and she's also an accredited home staging professional. So welcome to the podcast. Thank Matt. you so much for having me. I would thank both of you guys for um, carving some time out of your busy schedules to sit in sure. with us today. And I want to get straight to it because everything that you guys have going on is so exciting that I don't want to waste any time before we actually start bringing some of that information out to the forefront so that our listeners and the people who view our podcast can have an idea of what cool. it is you do and how long you've been doing it. So I want to start with you, Quentin. Sure. How long have you been a professional realtor and how long have you been building this team that you have over at the Rockwell team? Um, I think in, since 2014 is when I got my license and I started. And then later on that year, my wife, she got her license. And then we just kind of said, let's do this. Let's, why not? Let's make this team thing work. And so we started building it and working it up. So now this is interesting because um, there are quite a few husband and wife teams in real mm -hmm. estate. You see, though, they market a lot. Yes. But when you're building a business from scratch Ooh. with your significant other, what were the benefits of oh. working with someone. <laughs> <laughs> Quit, stop. Uh, what was the benefits of working with someone who was so close as opposed to someone who would be a traditional business partner? Um, the benefits, well, I mean, I trust her. Um, that, that's the big thing. I, I think there's that trust uh, knowing that, that she does have my best interest and vice versa. I had her best interest at heart. I mean, there's it's sometimes, you know, when you're working together, you live together. Um, you, you, I never realized how much 
time, how, how much that we need actually needed space from each other. Right. And so I guess as a married couple, you find out all sorts of all sorts of stuff. Um, but the benefits, I mean, it's it, there's that trust, and if right. and you know, you know that you're looking out for each other. That's the biggest one. I had a um, a colleague. Him and his wife had built their brand and their um, real estate brokerage together. Mm. And one of the things that he would always express is that there was always checks and balances. Yeah. You can never, your motivation could never get below a certain point because you always had someone in-house yeah. to pick you up. Yeah. And cool thing about working with someone so close is very rare that you both will have a bad day on the same day. So well. when you're down, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. He's not back to differ. We'll go with that, I guess. And so um, as you guys have built the Rockwell team out, are you guys still looking to add to the team? Actually, yeah. We're in the we've we've got some uh, got admin and some transaction coordinators and we're looking for some more agents, some buyer agents, uh, to come you know, I guess we're looking for the right fit, really. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're we're interviewing right now. I know. I'm glad you were sharing that information because there are so many aspiring real estate professionals yeah. mm -hmm. that before they actually take the plunge, yeah. they gather information. I've always been that type of person. I'm an information mm -hmm. gatherer. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You'll research and then you'll cross-reference and then you'll fact-check all before you decide to click on the information button online. Right, right, <laughs> yeah. right. So I want to make sure that everyone who watches your interview today and hears the sound of your voice knows that not only are you a team builder, but you're also inclusive and looking to expand and add new members as well. Absolutely. I mean, we, we kind of figure slow to hire because we want to make sure we have a culture in, in, our, in our team. And we just want to make sure that it's the right fit for, the, for our culture. And it's not necessarily that, you know, if you don't fit, I mean, we have no issues with you. It's just you're not the right fit for us because if we want you to, to prosper with mm -hmm. us, and because if you're prospering and if you're um, feeling like this is where you fit, then you're going to produce more. You're going to work better. You're going to be happy. Then I'm going to be happy because if you're miserable, I'm miserable. I don't want to be miserable. It's mm -hmm. kind of partly selfish, but I don't want to be miserable. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what I mean? So it's like we just we want people to, to be the right fit and feel like this is where that where their gifts, where their talents are, are just prospering and growing. Speaking of gifts and talents, I wanted to ask Samantha. What was it about the real estate in industry that initially drew you in, and how long have you been practicing real estate? So this will be my fourth year coming in um, July, so I'm Absolutely. super excited. But I went to school for interior design, oh, wow. and so I kind of wanted to partner and pair those two industries together so I could have my own home staging and decorating business and be able to help my clients add value and so I'm always trying to value add. You need to do that as a company, as an entrepreneur. Always add value your, to your clients that no one else can provide. And I want to ask you about your home staging accreditation. Mm -hmm. Because if you've listed a home and sold it before, you may very well know the benefits of staging a home. But yeah. if you are um, living in the first home you've ever purchased, mm -hmm. you've been staying in it about maybe five years, and you're either due to family size or need to accommodate more space. Can you please illustrate for our audience the value of home staging? And for those who may not know, what is home staging to the layman? So I'm just going to define home staging for y'all. So it's not decorating. It's not designing. <laughs> it's really if you go kind of through the builder model homes, you're really trying to get your home to feel like a builder model home. So you're not personalizing. It is not to your taste whatsoever. Mm -hmm. You're basically neutralizing and making sure that anyone that comes in your home can see themselves living there. You know, um, when you meet people who are touring for homes that are buyers mm -hmm. and they tour homes that are absolutely empty versus touring a home that's staged, what are some of the feedback that you get after they've seen those two styles of properties for sale? Right. So most people are not visual. Right. They cannot visualize something unless it's already there. So that's kind of the number one benefit is, oh, I can fit a king size bed in this room. Oh, I can fit my giant sectional that I've had for 20 years that I won't ever get rid of in this living room. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just things that you have that spatial recognition. Um, and I think, too, if you go into a vacant property, it's not going to feel mm -hmm. homey per se. It's going to feel right. very kind of mm -hmm. bland 
blank. It's going to feel cold. So we try and warm it up, make it feel like you can see yourself really living here and either, you know, having your family, having, you know, your pets, whatever you have, be able to just really make this something that you can stay in for your lifetime. And Samantha, I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. So in as staging, was that something that you've always wanted to do beforehand? You know, I know it's not as simple. You know, is this something that you have to have an eye for? Like, what challenges did you have entering into that staging business? So since I went to school for interior design, I really kind of had that teaching. Mm -hmm. So it's not something that you're like, well, my friends always said I was really, really good at decorating and picking out colors. That is not what it is Mm -hmm. at all. Okay, okay, okay. (laughs) See, I thought I was too until I (laughs) Until you met me. Yeah, Yeah. right? (laughs) So, Samantha, are you saying that it's unfair for me to assume that you had the cutest dorm room in school? I had a very nice dorm room. Okay. However, it was to my taste. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Um, and so that, and that, and so it you, was pink it, and right. obnoxious. So you kind of you, you can't design a home based on what you like. It's about no. what, what fits the masses. Exactly. Okay. You really have to kind of generalize. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people don't know what that even means. They're mm-hmm. like, what do you mean just what everyone's looking for? Right. So you have to be kind of know what the trends are. Mm-hmm. And you can't make it too trendy because someone might be like, well, I really liked those dark wood cabinets. Mm-hmm. I've always had dark wood cabinets. Well, everything's white and gray now and it's really not leaving right. so or it's yeah. just getting a little bit more taupey you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um <laughs> that's the official word for right. it taupey, taupey. taupey. okay taupey. <laughs> i feel like the definition needs to just like float in right. the color yes yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really like color training mm-hmm. knowing mm-hmm. exactly kind of what the masses are looking for knowing that you can kind of, if you go through a model home, kind mm-hmm. of see and pinpoint right. things. Mm-hmm. But even they kind of do it to their designer's taste, and even ju- just a little bit. And a quick question else on top of that mm-hmm. is, so how do you keep yourself up to date? on? Because I know it's always changing. Little things are changing from mm-hmm. handles to curtains to, like you said, flooring or light fixtures. So how do you... How do you keep yourself um, on top of all I the trends? I'm so glad you asked All that. right. So <laughs> we have, through um, being an ASP and a credit, accredited staging professional, there is an IHOSP network. So there is literally a whole nother group. We meet once a month, and we, um, as stagers, come together and kind mm-hmm. of talk about what are the trends. We go to Sherman Williams and mm-hmm. get their top it colors. sounds like my personal hell. And <laughs> just we'll it go really meet does. with builders and see, like, what they're seeing. Mm-hmm. And right. really, um, you know, once a month, really kind of get together and okay. step out of the box and really kind of see what everyone's that's doing. That's, that's yeah. seriously like my that. personal help. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, but, that you know, really it's interesting because speaking of professional networking like groups, okay. yeah. because the thing I've always seen as the primary benefit of joining those organizations is that you're around like-minded professionals. Of course. Sometimes we all are creative in our own unique ways. And sometimes we can always isolate ourselves in our mind to think we're the only person suffering from this particular challenge. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to ask you all, because you guys are both a part of the Texas Realtor Leadership Program. Mm-hmm. Yes, so being graduated. A, oh, wow. wow. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Absolutely. So I wanted to ask both of you all, and um, whoever would like to answer first, feel free, but what are some of the benefits of being involved in that leadership program? Um... Well, I mean, there's the working together with like-minded people, and it is for us because sometimes people can get really competitive, mm-hmm. and and honestly, I'll be I'll be frank here, stupidly competitive. Mm-hmm. There's not a limited pie amount, and right. pe- there's a mentality mm-hmm. that you have to compete over this little sliver <laughs> of pie, mm-hmm. and I'm sorry. There's enough for everybody to eat very well mm-hmm. and do a very good job and serve their people very well. Yes. Yes. So, and that was it, it for me. It was kind of refreshing to be around a group of the, these people that are all of that same frame of mind, and it's just you know working together for you know common good for for the community. Mm-hmm. Um, and it just and for me, and I mean, I mean, I've been in the business for five years. It's, I mean, it's not my first career, but it was just. It was just it, it changed my business and the way I even approached it, even just the way I we run my wife and I run our team and the way we run our business. It's just been for me, it's been phenomenal. I agree. I think one of the main benefits really is kind of, you know, you're kind of stuck in your little box sometimes mm-hmm. and it really gets you outside of like 
your box per se. Yeah. Um, you're not a lone ranger. You're not. Right. Yeah. And, right. and in in this industry, you have to be around people that are going to support you mm -hmm. yes. and that are going to challenge you at the same time. And okay. if you don't have someone like this, you're not going to be around for a while. Mm -hmm. It's just a fact. No, I understand totally. So what type of... Um, programs, community outreach, networking events do you guys um, are involved in as part of the program? Oh my God. Well, I was going to say, well, the, I mean, not so much network. I mean, there's some things that you're a part of that you okay. go to uh, to represent your your group and represent your class, which you'll never represent any better than 2018's mm -hmm. <laughs> class. <Right. so. laughs> um, I'll just throw that out there right now. Just, you know, give up. Right. Uh, that sounds bad. <laughs> yeah. It sounds competitive. I, 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 I sound competitive. You got to give everybody something to shoot for. Yeah, yeah, yeah shoot for it. Yes. Build on us. Mm -hmm. you know, we've built on all the previous classes that were far less than us. Which is good. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm, I know. I'm totally kidding. I've got to talk a lot of mess to them. <laughs> but um, but no, I mean, there's there's like we worked with the Recovery Houston mm -hmm. in in we're, you know, kind of helping their Recovery Houston was trying to help in the aftermath of Harvey Absolutely. and all the right. stuff. And so, I mean, it's not so much necessarily networking. I mean, there is some, but it's mostly just working, right. working with people. Yeah, it's just working together as a group. So that's a lot of like team building within your group. Yes. Wow. Um, you know, we meet once a month for nine months and sometimes we meet twice a month depending on what we have going yeah. on. Mm -hmm. um, but you're really you're in a room with these people for like 12 hours Every month. Right. Every, every month. Every okay. month. Minimum. Minimum. <laughs> so you really grow as a group. And one of the great things about TRLP is they do choose kind of a nonprofit to sponsor. Mm -hmm. So ours okay. was like what Quentin was saying, Recovery Houston. And they really help with um, natural disaster relief mm -hmm. for homes um, and really help people out. So um, one of the really cool things that we're going to be doing, they do it every year. It's called H-Town Day, and we'll be oh, presenting wow. the check to Recovery Houston for how much money we've raised um, mm. for the oh. year there. So it'll be a really, really exciting event. Um, Y'all all can come. It is April 11th, and it's going to be at the Downtown Aquarium from 8.30 to 4.30. Lunch will be provided. Lunch. Uh, That's where you got I, me. I, I love the aquarium. <laughs> really cool. If you haven't been there, I urge everyone to take opportunity to visit because it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful establishment. Mm -hmm. We're going to take a short break. But when we come back, I would like to um, ask you guys a little bit about your background, professional, if there was any mentors or who set you on this path of entrepreneurship that you're on now. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. We're going to take a short break to hear a message from our sponsor. So please tune back into the Prime Real Estate Network. This is Rick Davis, realtor and host of the Prime Real Estate Network. Are you currently leasing or looking to relocate to the Houston area and you find yourself falling in love with the home but aren't quite in a position to purchase? Well, no worries. We offer the Right to Purchase program. We can place you in the home of your dreams at current market rental rates and give you up to three years to buy. Did you know that a majority of the homes that are for sale offer better quality than those that are for rent? So why wait? Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. Let me and my team help you purchase a home that you and your family can fall in love with. Give me a call today at 832-928-3963. And remember to follow the Prime Real Estate Network podcast on YouTube, Facebook, iTunes, Spotify, and Google Play. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Be blessed. Welcome back to the Prime Real Estate Network. I'm your host, Rick Davis. I urge everyone to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Prime Real Estate Rick. My co-host this week is Chica Moma of Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm. And our guests are Quinn Rockwell of the Rockwell Team and Miss Samantha Plomer of Heritage Texas Properties. Uh, thank you guys for being our guest this week. In our first segment, we talked a little bit about your companies, your branding, what you're doing to build yourself professionally and what you're doing in the community. But I wanted to get into a little bit about both of you all's entrepreneurial background. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, your background as business leaders. So for you, Quentin, first, um, I want to ask, when you were younger, were there any members of your family that may have been business owners or entrepreneurs that you may can remember from maybe some of your earlier memories that might have motivated you or at least set you on this course that you're on now? Um, I didn't have any family members that were. I just kind of, I've kind of, not necessarily a rule follower, I guess. We kind of talked a little bit about that where it's, it's, uh, 
it's like your rule has to make sense to me. Mm -hmm. If your rule makes sense to me, then okay, I'll follow it. But so I've just kind of always kind of done my own thing, I guess. Right. Um, I just kind of figured in in my family, I was pretty much the first one just to do it. But I'm just kind of like I'm just going to go do it my own thing because I don't like what y'all are doing. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, So that was just kind of me as far as starting that. So how did you choose real estate? I thought it was easy. <laughs> oh. I know, isn't that funny? Don't we, it, don't we it. all? And that, that's <laughs> funny, right? right? It's like you look back and you're like, wow. And I look back and I'm like, man, I was dumb. But that just lets you know that whoever you were watching at the time were so great at practicing real estate that they made it appear easy. Some. <laughs> <laughs> or you no. were watching HGTV. No, I, no, no. I... <laughs> Um, well, I, I did. I worked in radio. We talked a little bit about that. I worked in radio years ago, and, and then I, I, I still play in a band, but um, more doing this bef- than playing in a band. But I was doing that, and I just kind of figured I, I was looking for something that could pay the bills um, and still give me the, the type of freedom that I would need to mm-hmm. be able to do that type of thing. So mm-hmm. real estate just kind of made sense. And so I'm the just question is, are you still in the band? Yes, oh, okay. actually, we uh, right now. I'm I'm just trying to to get this this team and everything just mm-hmm. kind of built up even a little bit more. Um, but yeah, we still we're writing right now. Okay, uh, we had some stuff going out being played and put out there, but we're just kind of. What's the name of your band? The Shiny Darks. The Shiny Darks. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. And you play. You said what? I do well, kind of a hodgepodge, kind of hard to say. Kind of guitar and bass together with a okay. whole bunch of pedals and amps and things and, okay. and I okay. do the vocals. So it's just me and a drummer. Okay, okay. so he knows how to multitask. Now all the right. question is, <laughs> well, that's all I heard. I try. If right. we follow you online, sure. will there be clips of um, you playing said instrument? Um, I don't know. Well, I mean, you can hear some samples. I don't know if there's, I mean, it's been a while since we've put done any live shows. Right. Um, so it, that's been a while. I'm not sure where they are. There's probably something out there. Well, I urge everyone to stalk <laughs> Quentin online okay. and find these hidden clips. I, so I know of one of. I was gonna say there's some of them that are kind of like somebody was a lot of phone vids mm-hmm. where it's like kind of blurry and mm-hmm. you know it's punk. So there's kind of like some mosh pits and different right, things going right. on. So it's like a blurry moving phone camera that's <laughs> right. overdriven. <laughs> right, yeah. right. Every like, once in a while you'll see. Like I had long hair. One one video you right. see me oh, just wow. kind of up there, just kind of doing see, my thing. And I knew Mohawks. he had a little edge because he had a little. You know, you got your three earrings. You got more oh. jewelry than I do. So I was like, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, it's all tying yeah, in together. Yeah, I know. That's yeah, why I saw man. the nose ring. Okay. Yeah, doing it, doing my thing, mm-hmm. my way. All right. <laughs> oh, no, we're definitely going to check you out. And I, I wanted to ask you, Samantha, as far as um, is there anyone that you can credit as a mentor or inspiration through your entrepreneurial journey as a businesswoman? So, my grandfather was a home builder by himself for 60 plus years. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, So, he started his own building company and he has built homes he still draws pl- floor plans at 90 oh, so perfect. he um has always done his own thing he raised five kids uh, my mom being included and so um he's always been an inspiration he was president of the greater houston builders uh-huh. association nationally okay. um so my mom has really great memories going on trips for all of those conferences and things like that oh, wow. so um it was really right. cool and then this year my dad actually opened up his own company as well so he said he got a little inspiration from me so it's always cool to be a little okay. inspiration to and your i'm parents. sure i'm sure they both are very very proud Oh, yeah. Especially, man, she's like, what, the Women's Council of Realtors? I mean, she's like, oh, yeah, she's like up there. Okay. No, oh. it, she's she's like, what's it? <laughs> no, because, you know, I can only imagine as a parent how it feels for your children to take an interest in what you do professionally mm-hmm. and not look at it as, oh, gooey, this is what my dad does. But actually right. something where my grandfather has trailblazed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's built a certain path. And with their guidance and experience, we can push the family business further into the next yeah. the exactly. next decade. So exactly. I'm, I know they're super proud yes, of what's really going cool. on. <laughs> and I know I always like to ask my cli- um, our guests this as far as working with your clients. And I'll ask you this first, Quentin. What is it that you believe separates you from other agents that your clients could potentially work with? So when you're working with the client and you're at closing and the transaction is complete, 
and they get in their car and they have their either their keys or their listing. And so what is it that you think they're taking away from their experience with Mr. Rockwell? Um, it's kind of hard to say. I mean, it's as far as like at the closing, we try to make it a celebrate celebration type of thing, very celebratory just because, mm-hmm. I mean, it's done. It's right, over with. Everybody's right. happy. You mm-hmm. know, the people that wanted to buy got to buy. The people that wanted to sell got to sell. Mm-hmm. Uh, people that wanted to lend got to lend. Everybody's all excited and happy. I mean, for us, I, I think kind of what they're taking from away from us, like, I mean, it, this sounds kind of cliche, but I'm I'm me. Mm-hmm. And my wife is her. I mean, our team and our our culture is us. Uh, and that's just that's kind of what we sell, okay. that, that we're ourselves and we're not we're not anybody else. I'm not. I mean, when I first got into real estate, I thought I had to be the button up, you know, slacks wearing, you know, take the nose ring and all this other stuff out. But then I just but I'm me mm-hmm. and I'm, I can be blunt. I can be pretty frank about stuff. But I but I'm I don't, I'm me. Mm-hmm. And we just want to make it a good, not necessarily not a good time, not that shallow, but we want you to have joy with it. And as you've probably kind of come across, like a, in during your time as realtors, you you've you you kind of become a marriage counselor. You try you you kind of become a parent parenting counselor. Mm-hmm. You you become like all these different right. things, and that's just kind of I don't know. But but you have your own spin on it, and yeah. that's just kind of we're us. And I no. don't know how to answer that. Yeah, other yeah. Than that. No. no, you did an outstanding job because for Samantha, my question is a little different because you are so involved in different organizations mm-hmm. in the leadership role. I'm sure you've noted that you probably serve as your own inspiration for a lot of other young professionals, aspiring agents. So how does it make you feel to know that you're influencing the next generation of potential leaders, potential entrepreneurs and business owners? I mean, it's awesome. I was, um, I had a little lunch meeting before this with a lady who, I mean, I'm, I'm 26. I'll just tell everyone right now. And she was at least double. I would never ask you that on the air. I'm I'm just going to say it, but, um, she was at least double my age and she told me like, I'm, I'm really looking up to you because I have to lead next year. And it was, inspirational to me because I don't go out and try to inspire people, but that's what leaders should be doing. You know, you're not necessarily going out each day being like, I'm going to inspire them. I'm going to inspire them. You just lead your life and people will watch. Mm -hmm. And it's really, really um, kind of just, it touches your heart when someone actually tells you, Hey, I've just been watching you for the year and you're killing it. And I want you to help me. Mm-hmm. And, and I urge you both, and Chica and I, we discuss this stuff off air, is that we always have to be mindful of the fact that no matter what challenges we run into professionally, mm-hmm. there are people who are watching us mm-hmm. and are banking on us working through those challenges. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So on those days where it's raining outside and mm-hmm. the person you're supposed to meet is 30 minutes late, mm-hmm. just keep in mind that this is bigger than your brand is bigger than your company because there are so many impressionable young minds Mm -hmm. that are going to get into this industry. Real estate's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. So I want to congratulate you both for taking the initiative to lead and stepping up because there's extra responsibility. Mm -hmm. There's time that you take away from your personal business to do the things Mm -hmm. in the organizations in which you are a part of. So I want to commend you on that. And Ms. Cheek, I want to know if you had any final questions for our guests. Um, I always like to have people, you know, have you guys drop some <coughs> nuggets. And I remember in our last, you said that uh, based on that Texas uh, leadership program, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that you it created some changes. Yeah. So I want to see what what thought processes you have before and what changed. So because I'm sure that there's some again younger folks or even older people who have you know who can't let go of some old tricks and I want to see what, you know, what was the eye opener for you guys? You can go ahead. Okay, okay. okay. I was like, (laughs) you've been going first. So I'm like, I'll just wait for Quentin to keep talking. Right. Um. (laughs) No, but I'll ask you though, Samantha, because I understand what Chica's asking. Is there a nugget or a trick or a new type of um, format that somebody in the group Mm might have shared that you just decided that you was like, oh, wow, I never considered that, and I might want to use that. So one thing that I really took away was um, I, I know most people try and read books, 
Um, but I really made like a monthly goal of like reading a book a month mm-hmm. because we'll sit there and be like, oh, hey, yeah, let's read. Um, but we had a lot of really, really awesome people come in for all of our classes mm-hmm. and they yeah. would recommend a book almost every single time. That I feel like good, there was yeah. at least a book recommended yeah. right. at like one point. Um, so I really loved that and being able to just, again, communicate and be with all these like-minded people you wouldn't understand like if you're trying to do this on your own and you're like i'm super independent i am super independent oh, no. it can like be. It, it's hard yeah. it's and you might be like yeah. yes it can be very you're like i'm self-motivating i don't need anybody else you know helping me out you do mm-hmm. i wanted to let you guys know that you guys both and chica as well um all three of you all do invaluable work and you are providing a service that even if you don't get your plaudits regularly, mm-hmm. yeah. that people absolutely would not be able to survive without. Yeah. So from that standpoint, whenever you have opportunity, take some time to congratulate yourself and give yourself some pats on the back. And I want to thank everyone for being on thank the show you. this week. <laughs> I'm like, so, I can't reach it. Ms. Chica, thank yes. you so much for being our, my co-host this week. Oh, um, thank you. Any time that you're free, we'd always love to have you back. So thank you so very much. Thank you. Mr. Rockwell and Ms. Samantha, um, it's been an honor and a pleasure interviewing you all thank today. You, sir. I look thank forward you. to working with both of you in the future. And um, I hope everyone who watches this interview follows you online and keeps up with your careers because you both are really going places. And as leaders, I think you guys both have names that we'll see really far into the future. So thank you again. Aww, well, thank, thank you. you. I appreciate uh-huh. that. Thank you. I want to thank everyone for tuning into the Prime Real Estate Network this week. I urge everyone to subscribe and follow us online. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. So on behalf of myself, Ms. Chica Moma, and our guests, thank you for tuning into the Prime Real Estate Network, and I'll see you all next week. Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, LLC, is marketing a property for sale right now that you can buy. These properties range from land lots for under $20,000 to move-in ready homes $500,000 and more, along with everything in between. To see this week's list of properties for sale you can buy now, go to bit.ly backslash BDREF weekly list. That's B-I-T dot L-Y backslash BDREF weekly list. If you plan on selling some real estate and you need it on the weekly list, call 713-665-8329 to speak with someone about it.